For at TV, the world is thinking. Well, I, I really had um, an edible education when I first went to France when I was 19. And I was very lucky to be there at a time when um, people went to the marketplace every day to buy what was fresh and what was delicious. And they brought it back and they ate with their families and friends. And in each neighborhood there were marketplaces and, and bakeries. And it was just like a little community that, uh, where food was woven into everyday life. It wasn't out here in the place of health and fueling up but it was completely connected to what was growing at that moment in time. And you just didn't have tomatoes except a couple of months out of the year. And, and I, I had that sort of sense of aliveness of food and I just completely fell in love. And I, when I came back to Berkeley, I just said, I want to live like this. I really want to live like this. And so I started cooking. And I was very lucky to find the right cookbooks of Elizabeth David and people who really were caring about food uh, because of the, the way that it tasted. And it connected you to a, a table of friends and to the bigger world out there. And um, so that was the mission of the restaurant, was to produce this kind of food. And I couldn't find it. You know, I used to buy a big box of green beans and, and search through for the little tiny Arico Ver, and I, they didn't exist. I, I called them Arico Ver, but they were little tiny, immature Kentucky Wonder Beans. I think. Uh, and we threw the rest of it out. We threw the rest of it out. And I wasn't looking for organic, local uh, producers. I wasn't looking to eat in this season. I was looking for tasty food, for ripe food. And then I ended up at the doorstep of all of these producers. And we started buying from them directly. And it, it, we, we, we gave our money to these people and we began to, to think of this as a way to support these people who were taking care of the land. And when we had this idea of of thinking about how we were going to change the whole food system so that we were really taking care of the people who were producing the food. The, uh, the idea of the public school system was just the only place to go. It's the only institution in this country that touches every single child every day. And so, if you could put a curriculum into the school, if you could feed every child and bring them into a new relationship to food that was based on, on taste and pleasure, rather than don't eat this, that's not good for you. You know, that, that you could really bring them into a new set of values. And so that's the experiment that we've been working on called the Edible Schoolyard um, for the last 12 years. And we have found that when children grow food, when it's an interactive program, when they grow it and they're involved in the preparation of the food, they all eat it. <laughs> and we're talking about, you know, garlic and chard and vegetables. We are only serving vegetables, as a matter of fact, and grains. And, um, and it's, it's an amazing thing. They also like this program. They like working in the garden. They like touching these things. And while they're exploring the garden with their, with their math class or their science class, they're, 
they're tasting and they're eating those raspberries and they're learning which ones are ripe and which ones aren't ripe. They're learning what the compost heap is all about. They're, it's just, they're learning this information osmosis. And that's what we need to learn to live together on this planet, to take care of the planet. We need to learn to be stewards of the land. We need to learn how to feed ourselves, understand the consequences of every decision. And as, as Bert was saying, you know, the, these, we think that these are personal you know, decisions we make about food, but they have a public consequence. We are paying for the health, the unhealthy children. We are, our, our, the health cost is rising. We're paying for people to be unwell and not to take care of the environment. So we need to teach everyone. We need to teach everyone on the planet what the consequences are. And, and that's what edible education is all about.